welcome guys to Hualat. I don't know how to say it, I think that's how you say it, but it's Hualat from Russia. I can't do an, a, a, um, a Russian accent, so this looks creepy. Look at this picture. Look at the picture of that dude. That is freaking creepy. And it's made by the Unreal, well, it's made on the Unreal Engine again, so just like Ark, oh, this is going to be freaking sick. Alright, I just I don't want to talk too much. I'm sorry if my, I'm like nasally right now, but I'm kind of sick. Um, I'm pretty sick. Um, but I just saw this game come out, so I thought I'd do a video on it, see what it's like, and if it's any good, I'll keep doing videos on it, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah, comment on comment down below and like if you actually like this series, because I need to know whether to keep going or not, and whether you guys enjoy it. Alright, we'll see you in the game. The place you collected the note will be marked on the map. I hope putting it on epic doesn't stuff my frames up. Oh, okay, the frames aren't the best. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Ototan Mountain. Hmm. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat. They said that Siakam. Sean Bean, Bean is the uh, voice it actor was of this. their last stop. Or the narrator. So that's actually, it actually sounds Three really good. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. <laughs> oh, I just got the shivers. That music. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. Ooh. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. Oh. They were barefooted. This oh, suggests a cold. frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. <laughs> Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace, and two bodies. Oh. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? But the underwear. next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, Holy this shit. despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. <laughs> the last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Oh, shit. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. The hell? Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. Oh, what really happened? This is actually Maybe quite interesting. Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered. What are you guys thinking? Under the, the snow. story sounds pretty cool. Do I get to play now? Act one. Oh, this looks so good. It's not too bad. Frames is at forty-four right now on Epic. The music's pretty nice. Any third person? Oh, this is so nice. This is creepy. Feels like the old, um, the old Cold War days in Russia. Oh, I'm getting chills from this music, guys. Can I go in here? No, let me in. It's cold. It's cold outside. Please let me in. No, you don't want to let me in. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. I have no idea where I'm meant to be going. What's this? No, it won't open. Music guys sets the scene. Perfect. 
Guy's not moving too fast, I think he's about to die. Act one might be very short. Scenery is just amazing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Do an inventory? No. Tab? No. Nothing. So it's just me walking around. Can't jump. Can't punch. Can't. Oh, I can zoom in. guys this um game is very creepy it's done by the unreal engine can't open this up and uh yeah it's set in russia and obviously in the snow there's been a um an avalanche or there's been like this these six hikers that have been murdered or killed and they're really suspicious on what's going on so I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> I'm just running around like a headless chicken right now. So I said I'm supposed to go... Oh shit, am I dying? I think it's running out of energy just then. No. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? I'm just going to keep going this way. Oh shit, I thought someone was here just then. Hello, anybody home? Oh shit. I don't know if I can get back up. Oh, there we go. What's this over here? Excuse me? Anybody out there? Hello? It's very cold out here and I'm pretty sure there's wolves out here as well. Can you please let me in? Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's been here for a long, long time. I can't even see in their windows. How rude is that? I want to be a creep and look through the windows. It's very cold out here. I'm an orphan. I just need some warmth. Just need it, goddamn. What the hell is up there? Let's keep following the train tracks, I guess. What was that? Music's just changed. Uh, hello. Uh. Oh, I thought I saw something there. It was just this. Oh my god. That was just, just the snow and the wind. I thought something was like a ghost was going past me just then. Let's go this way. What's over here? Oh, every bush just scares the crap out of me. I keep thinking there's going to be a monster like jump out in any second right now. Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. Look how nice it looks though. It'd be so cool if they added to Ark what they've done here and make it like snowing and such, but they've got bad enough frames as it is. This would just add to the problems. I have no idea where I am. I'm just running around the forest like a dumb arse. Oh, yeah, I'm a no, 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 no. 
We can't get across this way. Can't go. I can duck. Wow, that's a that's a that's a function I'm not able to do. I can't jump or anything else, but I can duck. Okay, this looks. Are you coming to me? Hello. Oh, what the hell? There's footsteps. Oh, we're getting massive chills right now. No, not because it's snow and it's cold here at the moment. But that music and oh, I know the scenery is just amazing. Feels like it's getting dark over here. Have you guys noticed that? His eyes are like squinting and stuff. Oh, there's a cave. What the hell? Hello. So cool. Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> in the end, the only thing I saw was a flash, an insufferable burning light, the pain ripping apart my body. Really? I felt it tearing out of my. Oh soul. shit! I'm moving. What the fuck is going on After here? For a while, I was nobody, nothing. Nothing. The light went out, and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. The fuck! I welcomed the end with delight. Something's over here! Quick, quick, quick! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in, get in, get in! Oh, look at this! It looks, it looks nice and warm. Get in, close it, close it. Right behind you. Okay. 